Hello, and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. Tonight, we are checking in this box. This is a Dungeon Crate monthly RPG box. This is one of the subscription boxes you can sign up for, where they send you RPG content every month. From what I understand, it's going to be fantasy, role-playing compatible. Uh, there might be some pretty cool stuff in here. Dungeon Crate did send me this box for the purpose of reviews. Uh, there's no other compensation was provided. I'm just getting this one box. I want to take a look at it. I'm personally curious. I love the idea of monthly boxes, especially if they come with miniatures and stuff like that. I'm a huge RPG fan. I love stuff that is universal that I can use in any game. You're going to get to see this live. I like to record these live so you hear my thoughts as I open the box. This is currently sealed. I have no clue what's in here yet. Except for the fact there's a customs declaration that kind of told me that there's tokens in here. But that's about all I know. I'm going to shake that a bit. Sounds interesting. Doesn't quite sound like Lego. Definitely some plastic. Uh, so this is from Dungeon Crate. So I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I'm answering is, obviously, what's in this box? I am up for answering any gaming and game night questions. You're looking for game recommendations, you have a problem player in your group, you're wondering what's the hottest new thing to come out at Origins. Those are the kind of questions I live for. You can ask your questions by sending them to questions at tabletopbellhop.com or heading over to our website, tabletopbellhop.com, and clicking on Ask the Bellhop. While you're at the edge at our website, check out all the other stuff we've got going on. There's reviews, there's actual play videos, there's unboxings like this. There's lots of cool stuff. I've got lists of podcasts. If you like listening to podcasts, I've got lists of other streamers, other tabletop streamers. If you've got a stream or a podcast and it's not on one of my lists, let me know. Hit me up, mo at tabletopbellhop.com. But enough about me, we're going to get going on this video. Just make sure you hit subscribe or follow so you know when we go live next time. Um, decent sized box. I like the art. It's got a nice theme. There's packaging stuff on here. I'm not sure what that part's supposed to be. You got more shipping stuff here. You guys don't need to see that. You got a, a nice key emblem here, and it really doesn't want to stay in focus. So we're going to open this up. I just got a hobby knife here. Always cut away from yourself when using a hobby knife. We're going to open this up. You're getting to see it at the same time I am here. Build your treasure today. Well, there you go. There's a nice ad for them. You're welcome, Dungeon Crate. All right. Dungeon Crate. We have a cover here. Oh, there's a neat looking orc thing already. All right. So this is probably a list of contents. And sure enough, there's a lot of stuff in here. All right. First complaint. Light text. Dark background, please don't do that. I have old eyes. I realize it looks cool, but it's hard to read. I, I'm a little disappointed with that. That's not gonna kill this product. Oh, cool, look, it's a dungeon map on the other side. I like that, and I bet you every month they can buy and you can get some nice dungeon tiles. I'm a big fan of dungeon tiles. I love using maps and minis when I run my games. I don't always play tactical. We sometimes play it a little loose. You can put your your character on the, on the, the crossroads. I'm not gonna be upset, but I like using that act the uh, the art and stuff on them. So you have an insert, I'm reading it. Um, I don't wanna read this off yet. I'm gonna open these up. There is a digital crate. This code gives you exclusive access to this month's digital offerings, which include full-size versions of the encounters, handouts, and extras. Your code will also give you 10% off items in our online store. Digital crates are available for a limited time. Okay, don't do what I did and wait two months to open your dungeon crate. This may stink, I might be able to go there. Oh, so this is my July copy. My July digital crate code is this. Unfortunately, I may not be able to get that. You know what? Once I'm done unboxing this, um, I'm going to look that up and see if I can get this crate to work. I'm going to be a little disappointed. I know everyone, most people when they get these things want to open them right away, but I wanted to make sure I had time to do a full unboxing video. All right. So cool map on the back. I just noticed some cardboard tokens. Save your crate coins. Yeah. So over here I have crate coins. Interesting. All right, so the first thing we have is a really interesting, nice piece of artwork. Kind of reminds me of a friend of mine's artwork. And on the back are the stats in, again, the world's most famous role-playing game stats. Uh, I couldn't tell you what edition, but I would assume the most recent edition based on what I'm seeing here. Uh, yeah, there's no Thacko, for example, for a Goblin Hulk. With the name Hulk, I wouldn't expect it to be a small human. It's a neutral evil character. It's got multiple attacks. I dig it. I, I like that. That's nice. Having a bunch of these would be really nice. A bunch of index cards. 
Remind me of that old um, wildlife thing I used to get every month where it told me about polar bears, but this is cooler. And then we have, oh, we have a bunch of these cards. Nice. So we have a sword. I'm going to guess this is a magic item. Yeah, we have the Sword of Grey Malkin. If you're a member of the Grey Malkin bloodline. Interesting. Text on the back. This is a nice thick card. Glossy. They're numbered. Then we have a Bugbear Shaman. It's an interesting art style. Stats on the back for the world's most famous role-playing game. Then we have a Fearsome Head. Yeah, I agree. That is a Fearsome Head. It is a wondrous item. All right, what we got next? We have a Sword in the Dark, which appears to be an adventure. Using this encounter, you find yourself in a tavern. Goblin Sewers, you find yourself in a tavern. Okay, hopefully most of the adventures are a little more uh, unique than that. You got a map on the back. Art's nice. It's a nice looking snake. The Goblin Hulk is in this, so it looks like the Goblin Hulks and the characters are going to be tied. I dig it. We have Chaos at the Temple, another encounter. Quality's nice. This is nice, thick card. It's laminated. It's glossy. Map on the back. I don't particularly recognize the map piece I had. All right, what do we got here? We have a sack of snakes. Ha <laughs> ha, I dig it. Sack of snakes. George's George of Adventure and War Games. I don't know what George's means. That must be a thing. Sack of snakes. These are laser cut snakes. Cool. I like it. Oh, there's some neat stuff in here. I, I want, okay, D, you got a Christmas gift here if you want. Here we have some nice laser cut snakes. They're not like as nice as like pre-painted miniatures, but you know what? Those are a great token to throw down on a map. Speaking of maps, let's throw it down on a map. Some big snakes, take up a couple tiles. Three different ones in here, different colors. And it comes with what looks like, yeah, this would be, um, these didn't exist when I was younger. It's something we all started doing where you have your character stats and you fold this over and you have it on your DM screen. I love playing that way. It's something I've always done. Um, been doing it for years. I think Alpha Stream was the first one to do it when um, for D and D four E. This, like the business card with these snakes, can be folded over and is one of those. This also very strongly feels like you could use dry erase on it, but I'm not going to test that right now. Yeah, these are some big snakes. I like it. I, it's just a neat bit. I don't know. Brings me joy. All right, a full set of dice. I had no clue. A full set of chess X. Really nice blue and black speckled dice. Your typical Chessec dice set. Cool. All right, this is my favorite piece. A rowboat. I do not own a rowboat miniature. This is awesome. You know how many times I could use a rowboat miniature? The first encounter in Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay where you find the boat. Oh, that's perfect. That is awesome. Reaper Bones. Um, so the Reaper Bones plastic, which are cheap miniatures, but not... Inexpensive, I mean, more than cheap. Um, looks like this does require a bit of assembly. They don't require um, priming to paint them. I've got a ton of bones. Bones black, okay. I don't know what bones black is. So this is actually higher quality. This is resin, so there you go. Bones black is a better version of Reaper bones. That's stiff, durable plastic versus bendy. Very cool, I love this. I am very happy by this boat. Like, I'd be happy. I don't know how much the box costs. I should look that up before I'm done this unboxing, but I would pay for this box. Uh, then we have Flesh Golems, cool. Uh, these are from the D&D pre-paints. These are from uh, Nolzer's Marvelous Miniatures. Uh, these are the WizKids primed miniatures, not the pre-painted miniatures, which I actually like. I like the fact they're primed. They make deep miniatures. One of the things I always liked about these is the fact they have the round bases if you want to use them. Very cool. And then we have another Reaper Bones Black of, oh, wow, that is neat. I don't even know what that is. Crimson Herald. It's like a bunch of robes, and the robes are holding up a spell book. That is a neat. It's like Spawn as a necromancer. I dig that. Then we got packing material. And I think we just have packing material. All right, that is it. 
I wasn't sure. Something could have been hidden under there. So if you want to find out more about Dungeon Crate, find at Dungeon Crate, because they're really good at that. Dungeon Crate, one word, just kind of like a tabletop bellhop, one word. Hey, look, they're even on Twitch. Guess what it is? Slash Dungeon Crate. All right, this is cool. I'm, I'm impressed. There's some neat stuff in here. I am very quickly going to look up the price of one of these because I do not know it off the top of my head. Dungeon Crate, become a member, let adventure begin. How do you become a member? When do I get recreate? What's in the crate? Where is the price? You got to click become a member to be able to see the price. Do I have to log in? All right. All right. That's not cheap. I, I would not pay this price just for a boat. $35.95 US. Um, six month subscription for $210.99. That's, that's a little higher than I thought it would be. I'm not saying it's unreasonable, but it's definitely not the amount I would pay to be happy just getting a boat. So that, that, is, that is a little, that's, that's rough. Full set of dice, that's cool. Some nice minis, adventures. I'm impressed by what comes in here. There's some neat stuff in here. I would have fun opening this. I would think it's a very neat amount of stuff. That is a little high for, especially my current budget. There's no way, even when I had a bigger gaming budget, that, that's, a, that's a rough sell. That's a rough sell. I don't know how much Reaper Bones Black costs. They are nicer than Bones. Like, I have Reaper Bones up here. They're this white fiddly plastic. These are solid miniatures, so I, they, these are nicer than most. But they're not metal minis either. Laser cut snakes are neat. Uh, two adventure, two adventures here. Now, if you're getting full PDF encounters with these, uh, you got to figure a PDF encounter is five bucks each, right? So you're looking at 10 bucks right there. You do have the physical copies here. Um, I do dig these cards. These are nice. That total price though is a little rough. Reaper Bones Black look like they're about three to four dollars each. I don't know how much a set of Chessex dice are. I realize the point of these is not to save money. All right, so I am going to now try, now that we've all seen what's in here, and see if I can get my digital amount or if I've waited too long, because that is disappointing to me. That should be evergreen. Like, how hard is it for them to keep this online? All right, so I have to go. So this is my complaint. You can't see this, but I'm having to take my glasses off to read this. I hate small white text on black. So this is, it says August Crate even though it says your July digital code is. So that's kind of weird. This says August 2019, and that says your July digital code. It's crate 1908. Dungeoncrate.com to download your files. We're gonna do this live. Do I have to log in? I probably have to log in even though I don't have an account. I don't wanna subscribe. Shop, adventures, miniatures, buttons, lifestyle, apparel, blog, digital crates. Here we go. October, September, and August are all that's listed here for digital crates. <laughs> this says it's August 2019. Let's try this code. Please try again. Now let's double check and make sure I didn't typo. Nope, that worked. I got in. But note, if I had waited one more month, I might not have got this. So this is the August 2019 digital crate. Um, Let's close this. Let's close this. There is no way for me to quickly screen share. I apologize. So yes, I will just stop now. I'll take a look at that some other time and see what I got. So there we go. <clears throat> so that was the August 2019 Dungeon Crate. I gotta admit, I was totally impressed. I was sold until I saw the price. That is not a cheap price. That is not a, you're not saving money by doing this. You're not getting a deal but you are getting some really cool stuff. Um, I'm impressed overall by the quality, 
That is nice thick card. That would look great on my gaming table, especially if I was combining it with other maps that I got month after month and I was able to make a cool map out of it. Uh, the adventures look good. You've got um, your standard box text. You've got, uh, I couldn't tell you the quality, but at this point we're just unboxing. So one of the other things I do hope to do is uh, a review of this. So I'm gonna write up a little bit more on this. I'm gonna open these miniatures. I'm gonna let people know about the quality. Um, I might run one of the adventures. That's gonna be a little rougher. I might lend it to a friend to run because I don't currently run D&D 4th Edition. Uh, it is worth noting there's a third level adventure written by Kevin Coffey and a fifth level encounter written by Kevin Coffey. So you have a third and a fifth level encounter. I might let Sean Hamilton borrow these. Note, not Sean from Hamilton, my podcast co-host, and see if he can do something with them in a D&D game. Let him let me know what he thinks. I'll do a read review of these monsters. Overall look, but that's what you get. Um, pile of stuff is neat stuff. I like the look of what was in that box. I like the look of the components. Uh, the Reaper miniatures are nice, and my God, I love that rowboat. So thank you, Dungeon Crate, for sending this for review purposes. Just so that you can, uh, so we can do it. Yeah, it probably meant fifth edition. I'm not gonna try it in fourth edition. These are definitely not fourth edition rules, so I'm sure you can convert it. Uh, so that was a dungeon crate from dungeoncrate.com, which you can find at dungeoncrate.com. Uh, they are cheaper if you buy a whole bunch of months at once. If you had the spare money, uh, I think it'd be worth it, right? But you have to have the spare money. This is a luxury item. This is a, uh, I, I need cool monthly D&D stuff, and I love opening packages. I want once a month to feel like Christmas, and you can afford to do so. Like, for example, I used to get crates with craft beer in them. They cost way more than going to my local LCBO to pick up craft beer, but I love trying new beers. So if that's your kind of thing, this is a pretty cool product. It's neat. There's some neat stuff in here. Um, full review may be coming soon at tabletopbellhop.com, or this may be it. And yeah, I'm happy there's a rowboat miniature because I have run so many adventures with rowboats. No, it is. I like miniatures that aren't monsters and characters. I like miniatures for scenery and stuff I can put out on the table. For years, no one made that stuff. You could just get monsters and stuff. But yeah, that was neat. So thank you uh, for watching that video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you hit the subscribe or follow button. Uh, if you really dig it, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. If enough of you do so, maybe I can afford to actually get a dungeon crate showing up once a month. Um, I am Tabletop Bellhop Motuzno. You can find all my content at tabletopbellhop.com. Good night. Game on.